All right, so next I'll be demonstrating how to mix semerlin, which is one of our peptides. So most of the peptides do get reconstituted or mixed in a very similar fashion. So you get a vial of bacteriostatic water along with the peptide itself. So as you can see, the peptide is a loose powder. Most of them are powder inside the vial. We also get a very large mixing syringe in order to reconstitute and transfer the water from the bacteriostatic vial into the uh, peptide vial. Okay, I have my syringe already as well. So for these, real simple to pop off the tops. Also for sanitary purposes, always wanna make sure before you do any injection with any vial, just sanitize the top real quick. Also pay attention to directions because we do get a, a very large amount of bacteriostatic water and the directions here say to mix with 7.5 milliliters of bacteriostatic water. So we're not gonna use all the water. So with the mixing syringe, you can see how very large it is. You're gonna fill it with an equal amount of air that you're gonna draw out of the water So seven and a half, checked in. And the pressure pushes it back out. Okay. There we go. Now with a lot of different peptides, they are protein-based molecules that are very delicate structure is related to function. So kind of like a ball of yarn, if you were to shake this vigorously after it's reconstituted, then like a ball of yarn, it might fall apart and you lose potency. So with these, with a lot of peptides, you wanna angle the syringe when you reconstitute it so that the water does not splash directly into the powder. So this will actually trickle and hit the side of the glass first, mixing it very slowly. You can see the pressure pushing back. Let it pressure equalize. Okay. Now replace the cap carefully. Now some of the peptides, you can mix them swirl gently, or you can end over end to get it to mix, or you can let it sit for a while. So this also says that for the injection is 0.5 milliliters. So it'll be 50 units on an insulin syringe. So he's injecting equal amount of air into it. Otherwise you create a vacuum. So you can draw out. So most peptides, the injection is around the stomach area. So now we'll use another alcohol wipe to inject around my stomach. Usually just on the side, anywhere from two to three inches on this, each side of the belly button. like to do is actually grab skin, pull it out, and push into that skin, and then slowly inject. And you're done. And I like to always wipe it again. Very simple. And refrigerate after it's reconstituted for the peptide.